Hey friends, my name is Z and you're watching Z Miss Easy. And welcome to a new video for IGCC at Matt and today we have rules and examples for sequence. And we'll look into some basics now, but before we get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you miss out on any future videos. And now we'll look into sequence versus series. So sequence is basically like the numbers are laid out like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 where there's like a specific expression for the different nth term. Like it could be like 3n minus 1, 5n plus 1, and so on. Or like 5n five, five plus 2. But series, however, is basically the numbers in the sequence added up together. So let's say a sequence has 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. The series would be 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 or so on. Basically the sum. And now we have the difference between arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence. So in an arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression, the difference between the two terms in the sequence is always constant. And it's called the common difference or represented as D. And in a geometric sequence, each term is multiplied by a value called the common ratio. So it's R. And we'll look more into it now. Starting with arithmetic sequence. So we have, uh, for each sequence, there's a un, like, like a u, and an s with a subscript of n. So u, this one is right here, is basically the nth term, like you're trying to find a specific term. And the s, however, is basically the sum of the sequence. So for arithmetic sequence, it's basically un equals a, where a is the first term, plus n minus 1, where n is the term, times by common difference of d. And for the sum, it's basically s like subscript n equals n or the term divided by 2 times by 2a, 2 times first term, plus n minus 1, the, the term minus 1, times by the common difference. So it looks a bit confusing, but it's basically this part is basically the same. Look, a plus n minus 1d, a plus n minus 1d. So for example, here is um, an example a question. Find the sequence 10, 7, 4, 1, minus 2. So we can use this technique right here. So un equals, the first term is 10 plus n minus 1 because you're not trying to find a specific term so that n will just leave as n. And the common difference is minus 3. Because if you do t uh, from the left to the right, 10 to 7, you minus 3. 7 to 4, you minus 3 and so on. So it'll be like minus 3. And if, if you expand it out, it'll be 10 minus 3n plus 3. And therefore the answer is, let's write it in new color, minus 3n plus 13. So of course you can just use a normal like normal like nth term um, technique. But if you encounter a harder problem or more difficult, it'll be much easier to use this technique. Then we have geometry sequence. So it's quite similar in terms of the notation that we use, they're all the same, but the formula is different. So un like the nth term, the, for geometric sequence, it will be a times r to the power of n minus 1, where a is the first term and r is the common ratio, and the power n is the nth, like the term, the minus 1. Then for the sum, it's like sn equals, there are multiple different like notations to use for the sum. There's a, like, there are two functions and one is, we'll look into it later. So the first function, it'll be a times by 1 minus r to the power of n over 1 minus r. And the second one is just the same, but it, uh, the, the negative is like inverted. So like it basically times everything by negative, like times top and bottom by negative. So it'll be a to a brackets r to the power of n minus 1 over r minus 1. And then the last one right here is basically like um, a notation to use that we typically use in uh, in a sum to infinity, which we'll look into it later. So this right here is basically sigma, where it's basically the sum of, and here's, let's zoom in. So here's the geometric se series as we see just now. And here's the, the term that you can try to focus on, and n equals something, which is like the first term. And this, this keeps continuing. But basically this is the same as the previous two. So just keep in mind that. So example, find what term 1 over 1240 is 
in the like in this sequence right here. So first, we just have to find the sequence of this um, sequence, and the geometric sequence. So u n equals the first term is two hundred fifty six. So two hundred fifty six times by the, the common ratio. The common ratio will be this times this. This will be x times by the x. So to find the common ratio, you would do like the after the, the term on the right divided by the term on the left. In this case, you do 128 divided by 256, and x is a half. So it would be 1 half to the power of n minus 1, like so. So here we have the, the, the sequence, the geometric sequence. So now we're trying to find what term is 1 over 124. So what you do is that you set this uh, un to 1, 1 over 1024, and let's just write it here, and let's just rub this out. So it will be 1 over 1024 equals this times 1 over 2. And our main objective is to find what the n is because we're trying to find what term and n represents term. So after, let's just um, run it down here. So what you do, you do first is you, you do 1 over 1240 divided by 256 to get a big number 1 over 26. 2144 four equals a half n minus 1. And now you could take the log of both sides. Let's just write it um, up here. So you could take the log base 1 over 2 on both sides. So you would do like log base 1 over 2 to both sides. And you would get, let me just type it into my calculator, 1 over 2. And you would get 18 equals n minus 1. Because as you see, I take the log base 1 over 2 on both sides because I have to get rid of this um, 1 over 2 right here so that I can bring the power down to a, like a normal integer. So we have to do the log base 1 over 2 to both sides. And coincidentally, the, number, the big number, the, sorry, the small number, which is like a big denominator, become 18. So it will be 18 equals n minus 1. And if you rearrange the equation, you get 19 equals n. And that's the answer. And that basically means that 1 over 1024 is the 19th term. So what this means is that, let me just write it here. So what this means is that, let's say what, uh, 256 is the first term, second term, third term, blah 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 blah. The 19th term would be this value right here. Then now we have some graphs for geometric sequence. So we have four different graphs. We have number one when r is bigger than one, the common ratio is bigger than one. It's like it's a, a divergent graph, like it goes it goes up. And number two when r is like zero and r like this, like this, it'll be a convergent almost to the x-axis. And this is basically similar to number two, where it's like a converging, where like different like it could be extended to my, the negative region. So that's why you go from the positive to the negative. To the positive to the negative to the positive to the negative like this like so and this one right here it's a diverging graph where it goes from smaller to bigger and number four and number three are different because number three is going from big to small like so but number four is going from small to big like so then now we have sum to infinity so we have this sum right here the sum notation s subscript of infinity the, the equation would be equals to a over 1 minus r and this only works if the common ratio the, the modulus or like the absolute value of r is less than 1 and this is another notation for it where it's like sigma n equals 1 the first term to infinity and now we'll look at some examples so number one number one question fourth term is 12 and 20th term is 92 Find the first term. So we can we can just do let's, let's see. So we know that twentieth term is ninety two, and the fourth term is twelve. And if you take like if you like minus both sides, you can know that there's like um between twenty twentieth to fourth, there's there are sixteen terms, and ninety two minus twelve ninety two minus twelve would be equal to eighty. And to find the difference between like one term 
you divide both sides by 16 to get 1 equals 5. That means for every like for every one term you move up, you move five terms. So this is basically the, the long way to do it. There are some equations that you can do, but I'll just go to some basics first to, to advance. So we know that the fourth term, oops, the fourth term is 12. And you know that every term you go up, you add by five. So this will be 17. But from fourth, we have to go down to the first term to find what the answer is. So let's just do it step by step. So fourth term is 12. Third term will be 12 minus 5, and that will be 7. Like so. And the second term will be 7 minus 2, which is 2. And then the first term will be 2 minus 5, which is minus 3. And that's the answer. Then number 2, find the 20 term sum in 5 plus 11 plus 17 and so on. So let's look at the difference first. 5 to 11 is plus 6. 11 to 17 is plus 6. So it's an arithmetic sequence. So let's just work out the formula first. Actually no, let's just work out some values. So the first term is 5. The common difference is 6. And the formula for the sum of arithmetic sequence is like this and over 2. 2a and minus 1d. So that we have to find the 20 sum, so n is equal to, uh, to 20. Like so, times 2 times the first term is 5 plus 20 minus 1d is 6. Like so, so it, will, oops. so it will be 10 brackets 10 times 19 times 6 will be 114. And it will be 114 uh, plus 10 times 10, which will give, give us an answer of 1240. And that's the final answer. Then we have some more terms, um, some more questions. So find sigma like r equal to 2 and 8 and r squared plus 1. So we have this equation right here, this expression r squared plus 1. And the first term for r is, expre is expressed down below here. The first term for r has to be 2. And the sum will end when r equals 8. So it will be the first term will be r squared minus, uh, r 2 squared plus 1 plus 3 squared plus 1 plus 4 squared plus 1 plus 5 squared plus 1 plus 6 squared plus 1 plus 7 squared plus 1 plus 8 squared plus 1. And we will end there because the, the question says that sigma right here, this expression, ends at 8. So if you put into a calculator uh, 2 squared plus 1 plus 3 squared plus 1 plus 4 squared plus 1 plus 5 squared plus 1 plus 6 squared plus 1 plus 7 squared plus 1 plus 8 squared plus 1. Or you can just factorize the 1 out of everything. Then it will be 210. And that's the total sum, 210. And now we have a new question. Find the sum of 8 terms in this right here. So we know that if the series or the sequence is fluctuating between negative and positive. That means it's a geometry series or sequence. So the first term will be 4. And the uh, R term, the, the common ratio will be minus 3 divided by 4, which is minus 3 over 4. And now here's the sum for, oops. Here's the sum formula as n equals a r to the power of n minus 1, r minus 1. So we're trying to find the sum to 20 terms. So s20, the first term is 4, and then r is minus 3 over 4. That thing will be power, oops, power of 20 minus 1, close bracket, over the common ratio minus 3 over 4 minus 1. And if you put into a calculator and make sure you have the brackets to make sure you're powering the negative um, ratio, it'll be four. Let's just do this. Let's just put, let me just put it in my calculator. Minus three over four. And then to the power of twenty. Minus one. Minus three over four. Minus one. And then we'll get us an answer of around two point two eight. Two point two eight. And that's the answer. 
And also because we know that the modulus function, like the modulus of R, is less than zero, that means that this graph will be uh, converging, like this, like converging, going smaller and smaller until it tends to zero. And then we have this uh, like some more question. Find the sum to infinity when a is six and r is minus zero point two. So we have the sum to infinity formula, s and infinity equals a over one minus r. The first term, which is a, is six, and r is minus zero point two. So it'd be one minus minus zero point two, which is basically one over one my one plus zero point two, which is five. And the answer is 5. And then the last question, find r when a is 20 and the sum to infinity is 15. So it's quite simple as well, we have sum to infinity formula right here. a equals 1, a over 1 minus r. The a is 20 over 1 minus r. The, S, the sum to infinity is 15, so it is. We arrange it to get 1 minus r equals 20 over 15. And r is 1 minus 20 over 15 equals r and if you put into your calculator 1 1 minus 20 over 15 the answer would be minus 1 over 3 and that's the final answer and that's it for this rules and examples for sequence and i hope you'll find it useful and helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you miss out on any future videos and if you have any questions or criticisms or any feedback, just show them in the comment section and I'll reply to them. And check out my social medias in the description, for example, LinkedIn or Instagram or YouTube. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check out my website in the description. Or you can type it out in your browser at www.emitseasy.com. And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful. And I'll see you all in the next video, which will be questions for sequence. But until then, Stay safe and happy learning.